This is the second section in the binomial expansion chapter. And uh, in this bit, we're going to be looking at how we expand a plus b to the x to the power n. Now, we've just done uh, 1 plus x to the power n, and we know what the expansion of that is. So I'll just write out maybe the first couple of terms. Now, it is in the formula booklet, but by the time you've done this a few times, you will probably m remember what it is. And if you can remember that, it does save you time. Um, but just make sure you remember it correctly. You might want to flick back at the formula book just to remind you uh, what it is, just to make sure you get it right. So that's if it's 1 plus x. Now, what if it's something different, like 2 plus x or 3 plus x or 4 plus x? Then what we do, if we're trying to expand, um, let's say, a plus bx, yeah, that's the letters that you've used to the power n. Then what we do is we factorize a out. So we end up with one plus something. So what I'm going to do is take the a out of the bracket. So I've got one plus and then this will become b over a x. And then all of that gets raised to the power n. Yes, yeah, so all I've done so far is factorize this out. So I've got uh, one plus something, which means I can use the expansion above. And then what that becomes, if we use the rules of powers, this actually becomes a to the n times by one plus b over a uh, x to the n. So this bit here is what we do the binomial expansion on. So to expansion on this bit. Um, and what we mustn't forget to do is to multiply by this a to the power n at the end. So don't forget to multiply by this a to the end at the, the end. That's easily forgotten because you factorized it out, you put it to one side and you totally forget about it. If we want to know when um, this is valid, so again, we just look at what is in front of x there, whatever we've got written down. So that's going to be b over a. Um, actually, no. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm right, but I just missed the x out. Let me um, put that in while it's not going. Right, it should be, um, yeah, b over a x less than one. Yeah, and then you remember you've got to leave just um, x in the bracket. So if you were to uh, divide by uh, b over a, so dividing by b over a, that will give you modulus of x is less than a over b. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll need to make sure that that is positive as well. Now, you don't really need to remember this b over a uh, thing here, here and here. You just need to look at the number. Once you've done b over a, you'll get a number there. So really, you you don't need to, to worry about that. You'll see on the example that we do that b over a just gets absorbed. It's just a number and you will just be doing expansion as normal. I think this is the only example that we have. And uh, there are two here. Find the first four terms. So that means we'll stop at the x cubed term. And it says state the range of values of x for which it's valid. So we mustn't forget to write that down. So we'll start with a, which is the square root of 4 plus x. So the first thing you want to do is to write it in a form that um, has a power. So that's power half. Then we factorize. Now we're only factorizing inside of the brackets. So if I take the 4 out, I'll end up with 1 plus x over 4 or a quarter x. It's probably easy if you just write the number out the front there. 
So that's taken the four out. So we get the one at the beginning. That's what we want. And then it's all of that to the power half. So what does that equal? So that's four to the power half times by the one plus a quarter x to the power half. So we're just using the rules of powers here. So whatever we get at the end, we're going to have to multiply it by two. So it's going to be two times whatever our expansion is. And we're going to do the expansion on this bit here. And what we need to make sure is that we put n equal to a half in the expansion. And where we see x, we put a quarter x. Now, I think this is the first time we've put in something which isn't a whole number. Normally, it's like 3x, 2x, minus 1x, something like that. But this time, it's going to be a fraction. But it doesn't make any difference. We go about it in the same way. So let's write it down. 1 plus nx, n, x. So that's a quarter x. Plus... And then it's n times by n minus 1 over 2 factorial x, a quarter x, all squared. So it's not just a quarter x squared, it's a quarter x all squared. And then we only need to go up to the next term. We've done three already. So it's going to be a half times by negative a half times by negative 3 over 2 over 3 factorial. And... That's going to be a quarter x all cubed plus dot dot dot. Yeah, and we need to simplify this. So we'll do as much as we can in one step. So that's going to be one plus an eighth x, one eighth x, leave them as fractions. Then the next term is going to be negative. And we've got a quarter divided by two, which is an eighth. And then we're going to have, let's write this down, one eighth times by um, a quarter x all squared, which is going to be a quarter squared, which is one over 16, times by x squared. The next term is going to be positive because these two negatives cancel out. There aren't any other negatives. The fraction part, that's going to give us uh, 3 over 8. So we're going to have 3 over 8, which is going to be divided by 3 factorial, which is 6. So you get 1 over 16 from the fraction part. So 1 over 16. And that's going to be times by a quarter x all cubed, which is going to be a quarter cubed which is 1 over 64, 1 over 64 times by x cubed. So final step of simplifying before we multiply it by the 4 to the power half, which is 2. So we've got 1 plus 1 eighth x, then uh, minus, now an eighth times by one sixteenth is one over one hundred and twenty eight, so minus one over one two eight x squared. The next one's going to be even smaller. That's going to be plus, um, and that's going to be let's just do sixteen times sixty four. So I'll get one over a thousand and twenty four. One over one o two four x cubed, and I can see the points going plus minus plus minus. So I could put a minus there to show the next term is minus. Um, I need to multiply this now by the this bit, yeah, because I haven't done that bit yet. I've got to multiply by that and this, this is easily forgotten. So we can write that um, 4 plus x, this expansion, root 4 plus x, is equal to, now we just multiply everything by 2 because we know 4 to the power half is 2 um, and I wrote it here as well didn't I just to remind me 2 times expansion so that'll give me 2 plus a quarter x minus uh, 1 over 64 x squared 
plus 1 over 5, 1, 2, x cubed minus dot dot dot. We need to say when it's valid. So we just need to look at the bit that we've put in the uh, bracket for the expansion. So what did we have where the x is? A quarter x. So we start by writing um, a quarter x is less than one. And if we times both sides by four, we're gonna get x is less than four. So when x is less than four, that's what it's valid for. So let's highlight our expansion there and highlight when it's valid. All right, let's move on to part B. So first step, let's write it uh, in a form where we've got uh, just the, the brackets with a power and that power is going to be negative 2. So that's step number one. This is one where the first number isn't one, so we need to factorize it. So we're just going to factorize what's in the bracket. So we'll take the two out. So we have one plus three over two x. And all of that is going to be to the power negative two. So that means what we get, a bit of space down here to do it. Actually, let's do this to avoid confusion. Right, so we know what space we've got to deal with this. So I can move my equals back up. Um, this will give us two to the power negative two, and then one plus three over two x to the minus two. So our expansion is going to be done on this bit here. And two to the power negative two, that's one over two squared one over two squared so that's a quarter so we we need to make sure that we multiply by a quarter at the end so i'm just going to highlight it so i don't forget because as i said it's easily forgotten so let's do our expansion and we're doing our expansion on the bit that i've highlighted in green so let's write that down here so one plus three over two x to the power negative two so in my expansion n i'm going to put negative 2 and where i see x in the expansion i'm going to put 3 over 2x so now we're ready to do that expansion so i'll have 1 plus nx so n x um, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x 3 over 2x all squared and we're going up to the first four terms, so we want another one. So n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial. And that will be 3 over 2x all cubed plus dot dot dot. So let's write down what that becomes. I'm going to try, because of space, I'm going to try and do all the simplifying in one step. So first term is easy one. Then the next term is going to be negative because I've got a negative 2 times 3 over 2. So that will give me just 3. So 1 minus uh, 3x. The next term after that, I'm going to work out the fraction. Now the fraction, well actually let's write down the, the sign. Uh, the sign of that one's going to be positive because the two negatives will cancel out. So positive, so let's write that down. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 2 factorial 2 is 3. Now we need to multiply 3 by 3 over 2 squared. So 3 times, and I'm doing this on my calculator, uh, 3 over 2 all squared. So I'm just trying to save space. That's 27 over 4. So I get 27 over 4 x squared. Uh, then the last one, now that term is going to be negative because I've got three negatives there. So negative 2 times 3 times 4, that's 6 times 4, 24. 24 divided by 3 factorial, which is 6, I get 4. So 4 times by 3 over 2 all cubed. So again, let's use the calculator, 3 over 2, and let's cube that. 
and I get 27 over 2. So minus 27 over 2 x cubed plus dot 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 and it's I reckon the next term is going to be plus now we need to remember to multiply all of that by a quarter in other words divide each of the terms by four um, and an easy way of doing that is just multiplying the denominator by four uh, so we can now write down that uh, the expansion of this 2 plus 3x squared is, now we're going to multiply each one of those terms by a quarter divided by 4, a quarter is the first term. Second term, well, that would be 3 quarters divided by 3 divided by 4. Next one, 27 over 4 divide, um, times a quarter. Uh, it will be just be 27 over 16. So just multiply the denominator by the 4. So 27 over 16 x squared. And then minus uh, times the denominator by 4. We're going to get 27 over 8 x cubed. I'll put plus dot dot dot. And we need to write down when this expansion is valid. So what did we have in the bracket that we replaced x with? This bit here, so 3 over 2x, um, 3 over 2x, modulus of 3 over 2x less than 1. So that means that the modulus of x needs to be less than, so if you um, divide this by 3 over 2, you're going to get 2 over 3 e. Yeah, so let's just highlight where the answers were. So this bit, that's the expansion. And this is when it's valid here. So you should now be able to do exercise 4B on pages 99 to 100. So all you need to remember with these is that you, um, when you've got something like this, a plus something x, b might even be 1 to the end. So the first thing you want to do is factorise out the a. So then you get 1 plus this and the a there, but all of that needs to be raised to the power n, which then becomes a to the n times by 1 plus b over a x to the n. And then don't forget to multiply by this. So don't forget 2 times by this at the end.